Welcome back, everybody. It is 10 minutes before 8 o'clock. Sandy Leswana from the Vert School of Governance and Otila Maunganiza from the Institute of Security Studies have joined us in studio discussing the, the, the capacity issues are currently plaguing the National Prosecuting Authority. And uh, it's, it's such a great pleasure having them in studio. Let's continue with, with this conversation, Mr. Swan. I mean, the basic tenet of legality and of justice is that every criminal case needs to be proven uh, beyond a reasonable doubt. I mean, for the NPA to have laid charges um, of, of murder on Mr. Ndobe and not, without having sufficient proof, what does it tell you about the capacity of the NPA? Yeah, I think what can be said, I mean, we can't generalize about the capacity of the NPA. What we can say is that the, whoever the parties were on site in, in, in Umzim Kulu uh, prosecuting the case um, probably did not at the time um, uh, uh, before bringing in, wanting to add the name of Mdulek Indobe and the MM onto the charge sheet, uh, into, onto the docket and so on they did not weigh the evidence to say, do we have a winnable case? Because you need to do that, regardless of the public pressure. The public, all of us want somebody to be charged, somebody to be guilty of this matter. The matter has happened. But the question is, the evidence in front of you as a prosecutor, does it tie this particular person right. to this case? Right, right. Now, Otilia, uh, now in Dobby's case, after the pronouncement in court with absolutely no detailed explanation whatsoever, Dobby's legal representative stood up and said that he would like to place it on record that uh, the conduct of the state is not in the interest of justice. So what does this tell you about the country's uh, confidence on the NPA? Well, legal counsel for any accused <laughs> would, would say that. Um, but I think one of the things that we, we do need to focus on is how the public especially regard uh, our state institutions, not just the NPA, but also the police, and whether or not people report crime and whether or not people f uh, expect follow-through. And I think the more we have high-profile cases where charges are withdrawn, uh, people's views of whether or not the NPA is doing its job will, will really uh, become more negative. And I think it is about uh, ensuring whether it's a, a prosecutor at a, at a local court or not, that they ensure that by the time a matter gets into court, that they've done their level best to ensure that the charges aren't withdrawn. So the concerns are there, and I think it is incumbent on, on the National Prosecuting Authority in this regard to, to actually amend that and to, and to get back onto the ball, as it were. Okay. Now, in another unrelated matter uh, with regards to the National Prosecuting Authority, uh, provisionally withdrawing charges against the Guptas, but say that they will reinstate uh, the prosecution once their investigation has been finalized and all outstanding information obtained. Do you hold that view? Uh, you can do that. Um, you, you can provisionally withdraw charges pending the finalization of files. So again, whether it's in, in this case in relation to the Guptas or to any other suspect, um, it, it, it's less about that particular individual and more about whether the, the facts that have been gathered are sufficient to take the matter to trial. So at a later date, when the NPA has gathered enough information and evidence to be able to take the matter to trial, they can bring it back and have it uh, registered on the court roll. Okay. Now, Mr. Swan, I want to pick your brain for a second now. Uh, with um, accusations of Mr. Sean Abrahams, the then NDPP head, uh, I mean, holding back on reinstating co corruption charges against uh, former President Jacob Zuma, for purposes of stopping political interference in who gets prosecuted, would I be correct to suggest that uh, a separate prosecution office uh, that deals only in political uh, places needs to be uh, needs to be in place? Uh, would not, that solve no, the problem? Yeah, no, no, that's not where our problem lies. Our, our problem is that the police, the NPA, and the entire justice system, like like the, our courts have proved over and over again, that they are independent. If if the police, because, for instance, there's a special task team now to investigate these murders in, K in KZN that came at the direction of Sir Ramaphosa. But that could have come from the police commissioner himself if he was doing the job as a professional police officer, saying this is a special case that needs my attention. So we don't want a, a police force, an NPA even, that is controlled 
that only does this job because so and so is the president or yeah. does this job because a certain party has won elections and so on and so forth. So the professionalization of the entire justice system needs to be something that um, this current parliament needs to call for and put in place strict measures that their own um, uh, colleagues mm. are not interfering with the police, the NPA, and so on and so forth. All right, uh, Sandra Leswana and uh, Otila, thank you so much to you two for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. That is uh, Sandy Leswana from the Vert School of Governance uh, and, of course, uh, Otilia Muganenzi from the Institute of Security Studies.